Greetings! This is Echo Talk with Brandon, and today we're at an amazing site. I'm here with Joe of Earthworks, and we're checking out this mighty, mighty rammed earth building. Today we've got a special update that we're bringing to you of what we've done here. When you last saw it, we just had some outer walls. Now we've got inner walls, and we're almost all the way around. But let me stop talking and let me bring Joe in. Today I want to introduce to you Joe of Earthworks. Joe, how are you? I'm good, sir. Joe, so tell me about yourself. How did you get into this work? I'm Joe from Central Tobacco. I started this work at Bogoso when I went there to do normal construction. And I found out that, no, there is something good in Ramet. So let me just switch off to that. So I started doing my Ramet at Bogoso mm -hmm. way back, like, let's say, 2019. I heard that you're from Awutu Breku in the central. Oh my goodness. Years ago, I was in Senya Breku working on a project, and that, that was a very beautiful project right on the water side. So that's, that's great. That's great. So, Joe, tell me about this project that you're working on here. What is it? What are you doing? How long have you been working on it? And how has it been going? We started this, let's say, last month uh, doing the 14th. That was last year, but Things were not good, so we just went back to relax for some time. So this, this month that we started doing the construction, which is uh, the casting of the floor, then we started our ramming. This is amazing. I did not realize, wow, Ayako, I'm telling you, yeah, people, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, I was here a week ago, so this is probably about two weeks, you know, and it was the outside walls. Now we've got the inside walls. And from what I'm looking at this, this is what we call here in Ghana a chamber and hall with a porch. So this is two chambers and halls with porches, and they are at, this is window level. Yeah. This is the first goal on a building. Bring your building up to window level. From window level, we go to lintel level, which is otherwise known as like the door height level. So essentially, as far as the walls, they're halfway. You're halfway, Joe. Wow. In just two to three weeks, you're halfway along, barring, of course, foundation work and everything. That's incredible. That's incredible. So, Joe, tell me more. I mean, I know we're all, we've got questions. We're interested. How do we get one? Are you available? You work for a company. I know Earthworks is the brand. Is that the company that you're, you're building under? Yes, for now, Earthwork is my own company that I'm starting with. I'm just trying to bring something different, working with my team, Without no helps, we have been like calling for helps for some time, but we think staying at home calling for people to come. No, you have to do something for them to see what you are doing before they can come and support you. What's that? What's that? You said help is coming. Help is here. That's what we're here for. We're here to spread the word on this amazing work. I've been following Joe for years, and it just so happened that I saw he was in my neck of the woods, and I'm like, no, nope, this is my opportunity to get over there and see what exactly is going on. So again, I, I, I know that many great things are going to come from this. We support you fully in your endeavors. And so, my people, if you're interested, if you, we know a lot of people are specifically wanting ramped earth. I get messages about it all the time. And, and look at this. The walls look like beautiful sand art. That's exactly what this is. If anybody's gone to the festivals and you buy those little sand artworks, that's exactly what this looks like. And on top of that, very strong. Very strong. Very, very strong. It's timeless. You know, the original people built with clay. They used the soil that was available because of the quality of it and how it protects them from the heat in the environment. Now, that's my number one advice to everybody is the adobe soil. Depending on the type, that's up to you. Do you want to mold it in the blocks? Do you want it to be exposed like this with rammed earth? There's a solution for your project. So please follow, like, comment, subscribe, get in touch with me, get in touch with Joe. We can get your project going. The first step is to have a building plan. We can't give you any price, any estimate. We can't tell you anything about the cost other than generalizations until you have a specific plan. So please develop your plan, get with an architect and designer. If you don't have one, get with us. We can help you out. Go to Google. Start searching for plans you like. Find precedents. 
bring it to us, and that's the first step. Then with that building plan, Joe and I can look at it and say, hey, this is X amount of square feet. Joe can tell you now how much your house is going to cost. Now, the number one thing I want to jump in here and say that a lot of people don't understand, and I know, Joe, you get this a lot. Everybody thinks that this is cheap. You know, they're looking for dirt cheap solutions. Now, again, I've got to be honest, and, and Joe, I, I think you're going to share this uh, sentiment with me. The cheapest way to build in Ghana is the conventional way that they're building with sandcrete blocks. That's actually the reason why it's the conventional way, because there's no other cheaper way to build to where you can buy your blocks and put them on your site and leave them for years. Nothing's going to happen. You know, then when you start building, you get to window level, nothing's going to happen. Lentil level, nothing's going to happen. That's not the case with the Adobe houses. We got to get this thing up to roofing level before the rains come, because you don't want this getting rained on all year long. So that's one of the challenges. You have to be ready from start to finish or at least start to roofing level. Sure. You know, start in the dry season. Plan your project. Have a design. Have a budget. Meet with Joe. Meet with electricians. Meet with engineers. Meet with everybody and know what everything is going to cost so that there's no hidden cost. All right, Joe, I've been going on, so I want to cut off. Do you have anything else you want to say? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will need your help. I will need your help. Very, very, very interesting. Like, as you are seeing me here, I cannot do it alone. So please just subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, and, and let, let's keep it growing, you know. Without your help, I can't do it. Yep, yep. All right, so I'm going to put Joe's Earthworks YouTube channel in the comment section. Please, again, subscribe to him, subscribe to me, share what we're doing with your network. You might be searching and you know your friends are interested in this as well. So please share with them as well. We're going to have a lot of interesting updates. We're going to have uh, weekly updates. We're going to have lentil levels, roofing levels. This project's going to be done in no time, and we're going to bring it to you so that you can make better informed decisions. I am Brandon. This is Echo Talk. This is Joe with Earthworks, and we thank you for watching us today. Thank you, too. All right, signing off. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Are you cool? <laughs> yeah, yay! <laughs> You see? Yeah. You see? So we'll get better at this. You know, we'll be practicing and we'll give them, you know, one day you'll really think about like making a movie, the story. Now that you've got this camera, that's my brother. There's nothing better that you could. That's the perfect piece. You just need a tripod like this. But the next thing you'll probably need if you really get into the movies is a microphone because it'll be like the camera will have good sound, but it'll be far away. You know, so again, when you have that, you need to start filming every day. Don't worry about editing, posting, just film, have it so that later you put it all together. Get your guys involved. Get everybody involved. Whenever, if y'all are here pounding fufu, get clips of that because everybody wants to see what is it like. You know, what is it really like? And that's what we're going to show them, the true essence. Okay.